All right, today we're gonna attempt to revive the antimatter charger one more time. Or is it just gonna go boom? Let's find out. All right, today we're gonna attempt to revive the antimatter charger one more time that has been sitting pretty much right over here for the past year and a half. And one of the main reasons why I wanna get this other charger working is because I finally started doing the testing on these winter packs. And I've only got one charger to do all the charging and discharging and it is taking forever. So if I had a second charger, I could speed everything up. Basically discharge from this one and charge from the other one. And if I get the antimatter to work, which was what I originally tested these with, I could do a discharge test with that as well. So this is the main drive for fixing the antimatter. I do have to give a quick backstory before we kinda get into it. So about a year and a half ago, I had a little 3S 88P kinda DIY power wall outside in the winter time. I was doing a whole bunch of tests on it just to see what would happen to 18650s in the brutally cold weather. Right at the beginning, I was you know setting it all up. Over the course of like a day or two, I managed to drain the battery packs down. The only way I could recharge them at that current time was the anti matter charger. So I brought the antimatter charger out there to charge it up. Now keep this in the back of your mind is every time I use the antimatter charger everything was typically a 1S. You know kind of like from my 100p packs from my DIY Powerwall Now or the winter packs which were 88p. And I've always used the little balance leads for sensing voltage so you get an accurate reading. Okay now whenever I went out there to charge said 3S battery pack I wasn't quite thinking. I still had it for a 1S and I'm pretty sure that's how I blew it up. At the time I was thinking it might have been something with my power supply which I probably caused that doing this. I really don't know. Anyway I'm pretty sure I hooked up a 1S balance lead to a 3S battery and blew it up. So we're going to take a look at it, open it up and see if there's anything that we can repair one last time. believe these are the same that was on the bottom side. Apparently I must have removed the one here last time or last time I fixed it, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. So I'm just going to pull off one of these and throw it on there and kind of hope it works. volt power supply. Uh, yes, it is missing the top. I'll check the voltage on it real quick. 24.13. That should work. And I am going to put on some PPE just in case. Oh, am I even going to be able to fit that in there? Thank you. 
We got a negative on this side, positive on that side. I'm putting on these guys just in case. Get you in view here. All right. Here goes nothing. It turned on. Holy crap. I don't even remember how to use it. A few moments later. Oh, there you go. Charge. Well, I guess we'll, let's try it out. Let me grab a battery here. Oh, this is the uh, battery that was not used. Let me check the voltage on it. I did charge it the other day when I was starting all this. Oh, are you not working? No. Of course, now my meter doesn't work. 10 seconds later. 4.15. Uh, let me grab a, maybe a different one. This one is pack number four, which would be pack number three whenever it was all up and running. We're sitting at four volts. All right, so we'll give this one a try. If these will reach, that would be the other thing. We're just gonna add this temporarily here. Positive, negative. Hopefully that doesn't touch anything. It says 18 amps, so we'll give it a try. Start. Checking the battery. See if it blows up. And it's going up. 9.5 amps. Are we going up? Maybe that meter's jacked up. All my meters are jacked up. It says 4.06. All right, I'm gonna press stop real quick and we'll see if it stops. Maybe it wasn't working? All right, well, I went over to the LiPo setting and tried it and it did start charging. I don't know if it was working on the lithium ion setting, Lilo is what I call it, but it did charge on the LiPo setting. So we're gonna try it again just so I can show you. Uh, I did throw on some little balance leads real quick. There you go, now you can see the voltage going up. I'm not sure what's going on with this meter. It could just be that far off, or it could be these long leads that I have on here. I did notice that on the sense leads, maybe it's the wires that I'm using, but it says 3.91 volts on here, which is um, like, what, two tenths of a volt off right now, or almost. I think that's pretty significant. So it does seem to be charging at this current moment. I have it on 10 amps. Whether it's doing that or not, I don't know. But I guess I'll let it run here a little bit longer and see if it blows up. I'm not gonna leave the camera on because I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to blow up. If it does blow up, of course, I'll come back over here and turn the camera on. All right, there we go. 10 amps, supposedly. Three hours. Voltage is still off, but that's okay. Alrighty, well, I decided to do a discharge test because this seems to be working. And so far we've been running straight for three hours and 10 minutes and the amps have gone up a little bit. I think it started around 16 or something like that. So. Yeah, that is doing pretty dang good, I would say so myself. I guess I'll find out once it's all done. It's working. It's been revived one more time. I mean, I don't really know what else to say, but this thing is a beast. I'm just kidding, it's, it's a delicate beast. Unless you, you know, use it correctly. If I could just use it correctly, I probably wouldn't have any problems with it. I can't say that for sure, but I don't know. No, actually, I think a few other people, you know, were using it kind of correctly and they still blew up the capacitors and all that kind of stuff. So 
I think this is probably like repair at least six. I kind of lost count after the last like four. And guess what? It did complete its discharge cycle. I'm not gonna show that because it has a result in there and that's for the next video for testing these winter battery packs, which is still going on by the way. Should be done here at least with the packs in the next, I hope, day or so. And then I can complete that video and upload the results and then we can kind of go from there. So anyway, it works. Now, would I trust this thing to charge all by itself or discharge all by itself? God, no. You better believe that I am going to be near this thing <laughs> whenever I use it because, I mean, who knows what's going to happen to it if you leave this thing alone or if I'm around. Now, I know many of you are probably saying, Joe, why are you wasting your time with that POS charger? And I kind of agree, but I kind of needed to speed up this whole winter battery pack checking and all that kind of stuff because it's taking up pretty much all my space here and I need to work on some other stuff so I needed to speed that process up and that was my only way of doing it was trying to revive the antimatter one more time which was a success I will let you know that I've charged all of these packs a few times so it is working I guess properly and discharged a couple of packs so it all seems to be working correctly again i'm not going to leave it alone or anything like that but it does seem to be working i'm probably only really ever going to use it to recharge packs and whatnot i'm kind of leaning on the iCharger x6 um, that one seems to be doing pretty damn awesome so far no problems with it at all. All right, so can we get a poll or maybe some side bets going on of when I will blow this thing up again and or if it's even gonna be fixable? I don't know, I still have Peters over there with some extra resistors on there if I end up blowing those up. I think if I can just pay attention whenever I'm doing this, then I shouldn't blow it up again. All right, well that's pretty much all I got. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Um, and while I, and when, and I always use the, what are they, balance tabs? Uh, uh we are doing, um, there was something else I was gonna say, but I kind of forgot what it was. Um, yeah, I,